We're starting this thing today. It's not a joke. Just a little while after posting that previous video, I realized I can just leave these coils out. We'll have plenty of torque regardless. Wish I would have realized that sooner. Time to start wiring now. I'm going through all the coils, figuring out how I will need to hook up the wires to get north and south in the direction I want. Alternating pattern. North, north. marking them so now I know that positive connected to this terminal I have to double check here this is north I'll mark that with an arrow up here I'll do the other side and make sure it's pointing in the same direction then go around and do the same thing to all the coils Some of the terminals are through terminals here. Use those to connect the coils on this side to the coils on this side. All the coils are wired in series with alternating polarity. Each coil is supposed to be 0.75 ohms and there's 12 of them and I'm reading 9 ohms. So that checks out. Get the rotors back on, hook up the power supply and see if it works. Time to hook it up to the Your Dyno power supply and uh, see if it works. I'm never intimidated nor overwhelmed by seemingly impossible and huge tasks or projects. That's because I just tackle one task or problem at a time. Delegate future tasks and problems to my future self. This approach has its drawbacks though. My engines are always designed to be started with a drill. Because then I won't have to worry about the starting mechanism. I'm using a drill with this ratcheting mechanism. Can you spot the problem? 
It's not like I didn't know this. Like I said, I delegated this problem to my future self. Time has come for present self to fix the problem that was delegated to future self by past self in the past. Now. Sitting here editing, I started thinking about things I could do for my patrons. You didn't know I've got a patron? Well, I do. And it's a fairly rewardless thing. But you see, I've got some experience with people getting really angry when I offer my patrons something that my non-patrons can't have for some reason. I think I've got something though. A live stream, a patron only live stream, hangout, questions, answers thing. Just like grab a beer and join my Patreon and we'll do some maybe monthly, maybe more often live streams where you can ask questions, I can ask you questions, have a few beers, have a few laughs. Is that from Die Hard? Anyways, that's happening. And thank you, thank you to all my patrons. It really means a lot, a lot. Thank you. I'll need to get a long 18, but this will work. I made a bracket and hooked up the RPM sensor. Seems to work. Got everything hooked up here now. I'll explain everything later, but now my main priority is to get things running. Just watch the screen here. That's RPM 1. That's brake RPM. So it's working. I haven't actually made a trigger wheel. I'm using this 16 bolt holes as a spaces between the trigger points. Seems to be working. Can't remember if I showed you that the brake works. This might be the first time you see it or you've seen it already. I've turned on the power supply for the brake and now see what happens when I apply some power. Makes a really cool sound. Like when you enter Bowser's castle. <laughs> First up, just a mechanical test, see if nothing falls apart. Then we'll start playing with the electronics, the calibration, troubleshooting, despair, and success.
nothing fell apart, the engine is running fine, everything spins freely. We need much stiffer clutch springs though, it's grabbing almost at idle. There's no power down there with this engine. In fact, there's probably not much at all until maybe 14, 15,000 RPM. So we can't have the clutch grabbing at say three, four, five or whatever. Need to get some clutch springs. I might have some. Unfortunately, I, I haven't got any springs that will fit the... Well, actually these would have, but uh, I've stretched them and bent them to fit an, uh, an old Peugeot SPX clutch pulley. Sorry guys, that's all I can do for now. I did promise to have it running though, and we did have it running. See you next time.